I'm Kevin Sanders. Mr. Sanders is of the proliferation and is a space policy expert. In 1982, he, it was, that coined the term Star Wars, responding to what appeared then to be the Reagan administration's far-fetched space defense initiative. He is in our New York studio. Welcome all to the program. Uh, Mr. Sanders, isn't the truth that China and Russia are far, far behind the Americans when it comes to space military technology? And it isn't so much a race they fear, but American domination from above. Um, probably, yes, although uh, Russia is, is quite well developed in this regard. <coughs> we don't know much about China, but certainly at the moment it looks as though if there is a, a space race toward weapons in space, America has a slight advantage. But then the only people who have really been pushing weapons in space have been the Americans. It started with Reagan's incredible decision on, quote, Star Wars. By the way, I, I did not coin the phrase in application to this. It was Arthur C. Clarke. I coined his phrase and then took it when I was at CNN talking about these things and started talking about Star Wars. But the first person to recognize the absurd fantasy of the idea was Arthur C. Clarke. Anyway, it has gone on since, and it has been pushed primarily not by the American uh, government or the Pentagon. Uh, it's been pushed essentially by a group of big military industrial complex uh, corporations. It's interesting to look at the people who actually designed the idea of weapons in space and a, uh, a space frontier for the, for the American military might to exercise complete command control over the entire world via space, through space, by space, from space. It comes from a group of corporations led by, their names are interesting, uh, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, TRW, Boeing, uh, Aerojet, Hughes, uh, Spartan, Visa Technology, and so on. About a hundred big corporations, aerospace military corporations, saw this idea of Star Wars and everything it entailed as, to use their word, a cornucopia. And it has been. Countless tens of billions of dollars have been squandered on this fantasy, and primarily it is still being driven by the Americans. Um, China has urged all nations to join in a treaty to ban weapons in space and the weaponization of space. Uh, so has Russia on more than one occasion. And every other sensible country in the world has gone along with this. The only people who are holding out are the United States, and it's important to know why, and uh, we may talk a little bit later on what to do about it.